So Gary, of all the five love languages, physical touch, I hear this from guys at least, and sometimes it's a joke and sometimes it's real, but oh, it's physical touch for me, which they immediately equate to sex. That's not what this is necessarily all about, is it? Physical touch. What do we need to know if we're married to somebody and this is their love language and yeah. maybe it's not our love language? Yeah. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, a lot of men will say when they hear the five love languages, they'll say, oh, physical touch is my language. <laughs> yeah. And I say, well, maybe it is your love language, but let me ask you a question. Do non-sexual touches make you feel loved? And first of all, they look at, look at me like a deer in the headlights. Are there non-sexual <laughs> touches? <laughs> say, well, let's say that you're going, get out of your car and the two of you are walking into a shopping mall and she reaches over and holds your hand as you walk into the store, does that make you feel loved? And if he said, mm, uh, that kind of irritates me. Yeah. I said, well, let's say that she's pouring a cup of coffee and she puts her hand on your shoulder. Does that make you feel loved? And if he says, mm, not really. I said, physical touch is not your love language. You like right. the sexual part of marriage. I get that, but it's not right. your primary love language. So don't assume that all men have physical touch as their primary language. Uh, these right. are non-sexual touch. And that certainly it includes the sexual part, but, but uh, it's not, that doesn't, that's not the main issue. Yeah. Okay. So now uh, if I'm married to someone and that is their love language and we've realized, okay, it's not mine. What do I need to know about doing that? Cause it doesn't miss, it probably doesn't come naturally. I'm guessing. Is that what you would say? No, again, you have to learn. Uh, yeah. I remember a, a husband I and mean, a father who said to me, my 10 year old son's love language, he said, I read your book and it, it, his love language is physical touch. And he said, Dr. Chapman, my father never touched me, never yeah. hugged me. And I, I can't imagine walking up and hugging my son. Yeah. I said, well, let's just, let's just start uh, with one step. Come up here and stand beside of me. He did. And I said, now just tap me on the shoulder like that. And he said, I said, okay, that's your assignment this week. Just sometime during the week, walk up to your son and just hit him on the shoulder. You know, I said, you yeah. hit him and run if you want to. You said, hit him on the shoulder. That's all you got to do. And then the next week, I said, okay, now hit me on the shoulder again. And he did. I said, now give me a little pat on the back twice. And he did. And I said, that's your assignment this week. And we just did step by step by step each week and a little different. The week that he finally hugged his son, he walked into my office and said, Dr. Chapman, I hugged him. I hugged him, Dr. Chapman, I hugged him. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we can learn to speak a love language that isn't natural for us and we didn't receive as a child. We can learn yeah. it. It's step by step. And you take baby steps and you'll get there. Yeah. It can be a progressive inch by inch. Anything's a cinch, uh, as the saying goes, right? You learn to speak that language. And what a gift that is to that child who yeah. needs that because that's his love language. And same thing for our spouse as well. Gary, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you.